Hello and welcome back to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with MasterCode Online. As always, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, the intersection update. Uh, basically, what an intersection update does is it takes the first set, compares it to the second set, we find the intersection, which is the objects that are the same in both sets, and we update the first set to represent those objects that are at the intersection or the same in both sets. So let's get and take a look at how this all works. Let's do A is going to represent a set that is uh, 1, 2, and 3. And there's our first set. And B is going to represent our second set, which is 3, 4, and 5. All right, there we go. We got two sets. Now let's talk about what the intersection is because <clears throat> this is important. The intersection is going to be <clears throat> the objects that are same in both sets. So when we call the intersection update method or we use the intersection update operator, we're going to go ahead and take the objects that are same in both sets or the intersection and update the first set that it's called on. All right. So for example, if the method's called on the A variable, A is now going to represent three or a set containing three. All right, so let's take a look at this a dot intersection underscore update and we're going to pass in B as the argument hit return call a and we got a now representing a set containing the object three because three is in the intersection or the same in both sets. All right, <clears throat> let's take a look at another example so you guys better understand this. Let's go ahead and do C is equal to uh, a set so we'll do one two three and four and close out that set now we'll do D is equal to another set and this set's gonna have three four five and six close out that set and we'll go ahead and compare these so we'll do C dot intersection underscore update and we'll pass in D hit return call C and we got three and four all right so three and four is the intersection of both sets all right, or the intersection of the sets, same in both sets. All right, <clears throat> um, well, let's take a look at one more and we're gonna show you in this one, we are able to compare more than two sets together, which may be important as well. So we'll do uh, E is gonna represent one, two, three, four, and five. All right, oh boy, that's not how you do it. E is equal to one, two, three, four, and five. There we go. And now we'll do F is going to represent uh, five, six, seven, eight, and niner. All right. And D, E, R, E, F, G will represent um, five and six. All right. There we go. I finally got it. And then we'll do E dot inter section underscore update and we'll pass F and G as the arguments hit return call E and we get five all right so we, we got five in G we got five in F we got five in E so these are all in this intersection or the same in all the sets so we update E and E now represents a set that contains five so there you go that's the intersection update method now let's take a look quick look at the operator and this tutorial is getting a little long but we'll take a look at the operator as well so you guys can grasp this totally how it all works so we'll do a is equal to one two three and we'll go um, b is equal to another set that has three four and five and we'll go ahead and do a um, and then we're going to do the little man sitting <laughs> equal to and we'll do B hit return call a there we go we got three so this is the um, intersection update operator when working with sets and it works just like the update method um, so we use the uh, uh, I can't uh, I'm drawing a blank right now but the little man sitting with an eagle symbol to get the um, three all right um, also, we cannot do what we did before. We can't do E is equal to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We want up to 5. And then we can do uh, F is going to go uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. Oops. And G is, I think it was 5 and 6. 
like that. And then if we try to do this with the operator E uh, equal to F and then F little man equal to G, we're going to get an error in valid syntax. We cannot compare more than two at a time. Our, yeah, more than two at a time using the operator. So if you guys have any questions on how to find the intersection update in Python, please let me know. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next tutorial where we talk about more sets.